Welcome to Speedrunner Showcase, a uh, special Speedrunner Showcase featuring Hatchet, our new world record holder for Marble It Up. How's it going, Hatchet? It's going pretty good. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, this isn't your first time on the show, but it is uh, your first world record. How's it feel? Yep, in, in full game. I have gotten individual chapters, but this is the yes, first. Yes, you have. You're a very As the previous world record that. would say, the one world record that counts. <laughs> the one world record that counts right now, and this is the fastest speedrun ever of Marble It Up, classic full game. Uh, obviously, you're a very experienced runner uh, with individual levels and uh, RTA in other categories, as you said. Uh, there's so much to talk about with this run, uh, but let's get started watching the run, and then uh, we can talk about it as we go. All right. Ready? All right. Three two one begin Alrighty. starting right off on learning to roll and uh this is how the run starts you've had a lot of runs uh you can see uh we've got your uh timer on the left and it shows this was attempt number 1731 tell us a little yep. bit about your uh your journey getting to that point it's it's been a long one for sure um obviously this is spread out over like oh gosh two years now yep. since before the first super bowl um but yeah i've definitely been putting in the biggest number of hours in recent recent weeks um there's about 300 that were kind of lost uh due to like switching files or whatever right so i think there's about 2000 in total according to splits io 2,000 wow. total. Yeah, just over 2,000. And well over 100 of those have been completed runs, so those aren't just all, uh, yeah. you know, chapter one resets on learning to turn either. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of completed runs, which I'm very glad I've gotten in, into the habit of doing at least one no reset run every practice session. Um, sometimes more. And I think that's a good policy. It's a good, uh, a good strategy for keeping yourself uh, fresh on all the later levels. Yeah, it really just helps to warm up. You get one like non no pressure run, just play the game, and then after that you can start going a little more serious and resetting on smaller mistakes. Nice. Um, I'd like to point out one more thing. Uh, on your splits, uh, we can see you have both the uh the comparison against your own personal best and also the comparison against the world record up there uh and that is actually quite dramatic and fun to watch as we go along i actually uh while i was yes. verifying the run i was watching your run side by side with the previous world record by spikai and uh i gotta say it was exciting it was exciting yeah yeah it was i i did not look at the timer at all in the final chapter you didn't say anything um, at all. And I'm glad I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> yep. It was, uh, it was exciting. And we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, we'll get but there. right now we're in chapter Spoilers. two. Um, what's your mentality at this point in the run? This was your last run of the day. Um, um, honestly, I was just hoping not to get a big death early on. Because if I did, I, I would have stopped and gone to bed at that point. Right. Um, just because it's so hard to crawl back after like a 20, 30 second loss this early. Yeah. Um, because you have to play everything clean and do the parts you messed up in previous personal bests first try. Right. And they're not till the very end. Because my old PB had a pretty, pretty hefty fail in Olympus and a pretty hefty fail in Stratosphere. And those are very much near the end of the run. But that's really good for you, knowing that you have that time save available near the end of the run. Yes. And yes, it does help as long as I'm like roughly on pace with my PP. Yeah, and you have a very strong that's chapter hard. six uh, relative to a lot of runners. Yeah. Uh, chapter six is, I'd say, one of your big biggest strengths, uh, usually. Usually. It can be tough to get it in a full game run. Um, I haven't really gotten a truly, or I've only gotten a, like a clean, a fully clean chapter six, all of like 
twice so far. In f okay, so. in full game. But that's with yeah. some of the some of the best uh, and most difficult strategies um, without mistakes. So even yes. getting that is quite an accomplishment. Uh, getting that twice. Yeah. For sure. Uh, coming in now, Big Easy, and you are making a little bit of progress. Uh, you're almost six seconds ahead of the world record, uh, as yep. you guys can see there on the side. Uh, a lot of that can be contributed to new tech, which has uh, been discovered or better understood uh, since the previous world record. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so there's a technique called just simply fast transition or fast level transition where if you, rather than just spamming jump is the usual button uh, to navigate between levels, you wait for a brief period, you press right, or D in this case on my keyboard, and then you uh, spam jump after that point, and it actually switches the level much faster. So how much time uh, does that save? Up to about half a second. And over At the best, course half of a run, second. It's gonna be... Over the course of a run, that can be quite a few seconds. Obviously, there's some dynamics because just spamming jumps, sometimes you can get a good one. Sometimes you get half a second slower. It, it really depends. Um, but the fast transition definitely makes it a lot more consistent to get that fast transition every time. Right. Yeah, so that very useful tech, uh, and that's going to uh, really going to be one of the one of the ways that you gain time over Spakai during this run. A good, a good example of it was actually in chapter one, where he got a 159, which before this tech was understood was a very solid, like that's a solid very good, yes. Yeah. But now after the tech, you save about like three seconds, something like that, three, four seconds. So it makes the sub two a lot easier. Um, and so I typically try to best to get a chapter one that's under two minutes as mu as often as I can as a like a good starting point to my runs. Right now, yeah. uh, under two minutes uh, is something you're pretty good at uh, doing rather consistently. Um, yeah. And speaking of those kind of um, uh, benchmarks, you had a 604 uh, coming out of chapter two, which is also quite strong. Yes, very strong. Uh, what would you say is the I fastest kind of, you've I ever done there? Uh, I have gotten under six coming out of chapter two that's crazy uh which which actually i think might have been my pb okay i think because i think my previous pb had a 154 chapter one which was like uh, that was great precious gems went really well in that run um and then on top of that i got a 404 uh chapter two and you add that that's just under six minutes so right. if i can get that that means i'm like i'm on really good pace if i'm under six minutes out of chapter two and that contributes to your uh some of best splits uh which isn't on the screen now but i believe it's somewhere in the uh 30 minutes and 20 second range 30 minutes 14 is where it currently 14. stands yeah. that is that is Thanks dangerously mainly close because to of the... the sub 30 some of best yeah um it recently went down from like 30 18 to 30 14 thanks to uh the new ic ascent strat which we saw yep. uh, which we'll see again which is actually yep. quite a chunk faster um as well as i i have gotten a better uphill both ways um using an older il strategy where you use the super speed to jump up to the first gem up on ah, the yes. upper platform Right. And I finally pulled that off in a run, and that saved like a good like four seconds. Two, three seconds around there. Nice. Uh, speaking of Icy Ascent, that was um, one of the newer strategies that wasn't uh, known about at the time of the most recent world record before yours. Uh, so that wasn't included in Spikai's run. Uh, you had a little bit of an executional error there. Um, but, uh, nothing that really lost you any time. In fact, you still managed to save time over Spikai. Um, yes. And then, uh, the same thing was true right after that on River Vantage. Um, where again, you, you pulled off a new tech, 
uh, with a small executional error, but still managed to save time over uh, the previous world record. So uh, very, very helpful stuff going in there. And you can see how new tech is really uh, making a big difference in uh, how the runs are going. Yeah. Yeah, and a big, all right, probably about half of the time I've saved over Space Kitty or Spiki at this point is uh, because we've made it past Spiki's first death, which was in elevator action. Right. We lost about nine seconds there. Um, so that, and I didn't. So that yeah. saved me some time. Uh, here's another bit of a bit of a flub here on uh, time capsule. So yes, we've got those we've got those that are happening, uh, but at the same time you're managing to stay ahead at this point uh, by about 15 seconds. And there good it is, Coggers. good old Coggers, first try, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so now at this point of the run, what's your mentality? Um, at this point, I'm thinking that like this is a good attempt, even if it goes south. I'm like, I can be happy. I made it out of chapter three, deathless. Okay. Um, that's that's been kind of a roadblock right. in recent weeks uh, to try because yeah, that's one thing I've really pushed myself to do is get out of chapter three, deathless because their the chapters are so short. And most of the deaths are pretty big um, relative to, like, the difficulty of the levels. Right. Yeah, um, it can be really costly big one of to, that is to die. Off-kilter. Yeah, like in my previous personal best, I died to off-kilter. I missed the finish. So that was, like, 20 seconds right there that are gone just because I died. Right. So, yeah. At this point, I'm, like, happy with it. Um, I'm most... Like, I'm nervous that I'm going to pull off Sunspire here. Because uh, okay. that's one of the ones where I'm good at it. But kind of like up the wall, There's only you can only get so consistent at it. This is really um, fun to watch. Uh, yeah. Don't want to don't wanna interrupt you, but let, let's take a moment to watch this skip. I still don't understand how you do this. That's so cool. Honestly, it's it's all just waiting I'm, I'm watching the timer when I'm on that scene that I pause on. Wait for 20.5. Yep. And then I start rolling. And Using it just the, works. the in-game timer time to your advantage. Uh, to time, yep. the, time the strategy. Good job. Yeah. Um, I, and you were talking about uh, deathless runs up to Chapter 3, but one of your um, goals or things you've been trying to pull off is a deathless run in the game. Um, why don't you tell me about yes. your approach to that? Um, yeah, so kind of like my the final boss for me in the full game RTA category is to get a deathless world record. Um, hopefully, it's also a good world record. Right. Uh, it's only been done once. Not, it's only been done once, and that was before a, a pretty a pretty major skip was found. Right. Or among other implemented skips. at least. Yeah. Um, we'll see that. Yes, soon. that that's kind of my my end goal. Um. Hopefully, just to get that that run where I think where it's honestly just kind of boring because everything goes according to plan. Like that's kind of my end goal. That that to have that run where everything goes according to plan. It wouldn't be boring to watch part. live. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it would not be boring yeah. to watch live. It would definitely be stressful, but yeah, that that's kind of like my end goal. The closest I've gotten so far is head in the clouds. Um, I had an unfortunate death on head in the clouds in one attempt. Right. Uh, yeah, that's the farthest I've made it deathless. Um, in the clouds deathless. Unfortunately, that far. deathless run was actually pretty... The unfortunate thing about that run is it was kind of like a slow run. Okay. I had a lot of, like, big deathless mistakes, I yeah, guess. Yeah, those executional errors that we were talking oh. about. Um, yeah. That happened I was, like, 30 run. seconds. I was about... Yeah, I was a, I was behind when I was in Head in the Clouds, and it was deathless. So, I mean, all right. So, but at this point in the run, you're still deathless. Yes. So far, so far in this run, yeah, and uh, that you know that contributes to you still being uh, three point seven seconds ahead. Uh, but yeah. 
we kind of skipped over this, but I did see that uh, that Miss Gem on Gearheart. That causes me physical pain. Uh, yes. From, just from having experienced yeah, that so many times by my on my own self um, doing that. Oh. I was trying a new yeah, line, man. and I shouldn't have tried a new line. Um, and I paid the price for trying a new line. It's about all there is to that. About all there is to it. Yeah, I kind of explained where I went wrong if you have the audio for the stream. Yeah, of course. Uh, if you'd like to hear Hatchet's original uh, reactions and uh, live commentary on this run, uh, I'll make sure to be putting that link in the description so you can see the original video. Um, and then we can keep talking uh, about how you're feeling after the fact. Um, almost at the end of chapter four. And a minute and seven behind gold splits. That's really not a lot of time to lose over the course of a run. Yeah, given like this is like the halfway point or just before the halfway point. I would, yeah, that's not, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, and you have some no. really, like really strong gold splits. Although again, you, uh, we see you beating one of them on Ex Machina. That's always fun. Yeah. Yeah, that one's kind of a rare one to gold. I don't think I golded it by much. Oh, it can't be more uh, than a couple It looks like frames. I golded it by a tenth, I think. Um, and that's mostly, on a level like that, it's mostly, did I get the actual fastest fast transition? Right. Like, I've golded Archipelago a couple times since, like, the tech came out, and it's just, that one can be kind of annoying to get the fast transition on. Yes. So it's like, oh, I golded a straight. So, uh, 1546 coming out of chapter four. Very good pace. Uh, and yeah. still ahead of the world record here. Uh, what are you, what are you thinking about at this point in the run? I imagine you're looking forward to um, some of the bigger skips that are about to happen. Uh, whenever I enter chapter five, I'm always doing... A bit of a pro and con test in my mind which cycle am i going to go for so in this case uh, it ended up i had to take the slower cycle or the safe cycle okay um but i thought at first that if i got the turn good i could maybe go for the faster one but that ended up not happening you're talking so about the kind of newton's cradle ending that we just saw yes yes yeah 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 now arky arky i'm not not stressing out too much it's not that difficult of a level uh, so are, for are me you, are you focused on the level or are you thinking ahead at this point um mostly on the level okay um try yeah i think the only time i'm really thinking ahead is with newtons at the moment maybe a couple others that i'm forgetting at the moment okay um just because newtons has that you have three seconds to figure out, are you going to go for the fast edge hit cycle or not? Right. Um, so. And now we're on staying. Now we're on staying alive. Uh, and this was... Gotta get my chat to pray. Yeah, Preach. this is the big skip that um, was not present uh, the last time a Deathless World Record was set. Uh, and this is the single biggest time save in the game. Uh... Let's just watch this and yeah. bask in its glory. So cool. No matter how many times I see this, I always <laughs> like get really clenched whenever I see somebody doing it live. Like, are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? You can't even yeah. tell until like the very last moment. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Hopefully, I, to a recent discovery I've made, that skip has actually gotten fairly gotten, consistent. You've me. gotten so good at it, so consistent at it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Speaking. And that's really nice because it leaves me, you know, it lets, allows me to work on not failing other parts of the run, like later on. Right. Speaking of and if uh, the, almost failing something in the run, that happened yes that is scary i had a mini heart attack there that was that wasn't even the edge hit you were using the super jump that's like considered the safe yeah. 
easiest possible variation of that strat. Uh, yeah, so I, I missed the natural bounce is what happened. And at this point, actually, and I'd like... And there's the first death. Yeah, this is your first death. Um, I want to comment on this. Um, you knew you were deathless at this point, and you knew you weren't going to make it. So why did you go for it? I why, thought why did just you go for maybe I would surprise... I thought maybe I would surprise myself with the spin I didn't think I had. Okay. Okay. I I, I remember uh, from the stream, uh, your live commentary, you said you knew you weren't going to make it. Um, and so uh, I was thinking maybe the correct call at that point would have been to do the, uh, the rare but not unheard of crystalline skip skip, where you just gotcha. play through the level normally. Yeah, I think I think that would save or lose more time than resetting and getting it correct on the next attempt. Hmm. You you might be right. I don't think so, but it's it's not uh, it's not far off. Um, yeah. But uh, so yeah, I it, attempt it didn't, to it go didn't for end up being your only uphill. death in the run or anything like that. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah. I t I attempted that faster uphill. It didn't quite work out. Yep. Sometimes just, you just bounce too high, but just barely over the gem. But uh, yeah, looking at uh, your time right now, we are uh, a little behind the world record at this point. So uh, you're going to be playing catch up uh, for yes. the time being. Um, and then a little bit of time lost there on uphill both ways. But all of these are, uh, time saves that you should be able to pull off pretty easily, uh, given your, uh, skill level and, uh, just how consistent you are on a lot of these, uh, techniques and, uh, routes. Yeah. Uh, one of them is just flip the table. There is yep. a slightly faster route, uh, that I think C Murder found. After yes. Spiky got his world record, so this saves a, a few seconds, like three or four. Yep, a little bit of an advantage from this. Uh, definitely uh, one of the contributing factors in order to make this run a world record for yourself. And uh, also, another thing I've noticed, uh, Vertigo has come a long way since then as well, in terms of the standards that we have for uh, what real-time runners are able to do. Uh, you do take a death here, as we saw, uh, but even yeah. so you're not really going to lose any significant time against Vikai on this, on this level. Um, no, just because of, uh, the, lose a little bit of the strategies you're doing, one, but it was clean, yeah. but uh, not, uh, doing these kind of skips and techniques that you're pulling off here in this run, uh, which you are obviously very proficient at. And, uh, obviously you took the risk that didn't work out this time, but, uh, you're going to end up dropping less than a second to Spikai on vertigo, despite having one extra death. Yeah, yeah. So, I had a modified start, which can get me all the way to the second to last checkpoint, if done well. Uh, it is kind of risky. I knew I already had a death at this point, so I was like, eh, why not? I'll, why I'll try not? and save a little more time. Yeah. And it's not a big time but loss I'm not again because throw of the, a death uh, list. the checkpoint. Yeah. I'm not going to throw a death list to that start, but if I already have one death, I mean, might as well. And you're already catching up. Yeah. Yeah. Watch watching these runs side by side was uh, was an experience. I gotta say. Um, really enjoyed doing that. Okay, pit of despair. Uh, not the most difficult level executionally. Uh, and then we're going to be getting into uh, chapter six. Uh, were you thinking about doing Pit of Despair skip? I guess I should be asking that while we're while we're still uh, here. Oh no, not. I I will consider trying to do it for the next world record improvement. Okay. Uh, but for all these attempts, um, I haven't even pulled it off on its own yet. Like I haven't even beaten the level with it yet. It's only been done in uh, RTA a couple of times, as far as I know. Yes. Yeah. Just so, by the cat duo. Yeah, Katz's and Spikai. But, uh, that being said, uh, they have failed in runs before without losing any time, uh, just because of the way that the cycles work. And, um, yeah. 
the fact that you don't necessarily die if you if you miss the strat. So yeah, uh, it is one I want to add in the future. I just need to really sit down and figure out how it works and actually be able to pull it off. So yep. Once I feel comfortable, then I'll start adding it. He had a solid finish there on Danger Zone. Yeah. Um, I finally didn't die to Spinner Hit. Didn't die to Spinner Hit. Spinner Hit is, looks, it looks so risky. I don't know if I've ever it's actually done it It's safer than you think. Um, at least for me, it's it's pretty safe, but I don't know. It just always seems to, I always seem to mess it up in a PB pace run. Right. But in this one I did, which I'm very appreciative of. Uh, Platinum Playground. Uh, this is actually an interesting one to, to watch on the uh, world record slash uh, PB timers. Um, and you'll see what the change looks like at the end of this uh, the end of this level, just because of the way that uh, uh, Bakai's former world record um, made an improvement here. Now we can see you you ended up saving uh, 16 seconds, over 16 seconds uh, over yes. your PB, but then that translated to just a little over two seconds saved over the world record. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I missed a wall gem, probably. Yeah, you missed PB. a wall gem in your previous PB, um, as I remember. Which was itself a pretty great run. Yeah, it was it was going pretty well, and then chapter six was kind of unfortunate, as shown yeah. in my live split. At ten forty two, that's about a minute slower than what I'm capable of with my current strats. It's, yeah, nice fast um, radius finish. This was pretty rare not long ago for people to be landing yeah. that uh, that finish first try. Um, now the rhythms have been kind of ironed out and figured out. Um, and you're pretty quite consistent with that. Uh, and then here's head in the clouds. <laughs> I'm so mutton sorry. Head. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anyone die in that particular spot. Um, that's, but that's. Uh, I'm sorry. The, the gap between the second red platform and the green ramp is where I lost my furthest deathless run. Yeah. Well, you've that was, that was um, also very unfortunate. you often just jump over that whole section without touching either of the moving platforms, right? Yes. Yeah, it's highly dependent on my momentum after the the long straight one. And then this finish is another strat that uh, Spikai didn't have available at the time. Yes. Or it was known about, just uh, not implemented in full game. Yeah, it was definitely known about. It was done in IL, uh, but there hadn't been a like a consistent. Uh, method for it right yeah and there's a good chunk of time to save on centripetal because Vicky had struggled to get a couple gems yeah uh, so, so that's a big game for you catch uh, you know losing half a second against your PB but uh, jumping into the lead in the process yeah uh, here's the kick flips we love the kick flips we love the kick flips look at this It's so, yeah, and it's I so fancy, the... it's so snazzy. If you haven't seen speedruns of this game, uh, the, the, the strats are just mind-blowing. Um, that's definitely, I wouldn't call that one of the hardest tricks in the run or anything like that, but uh, some of these are just so much fun to watch no matter how many times you've seen them. Yeah. Now Confluence, one of the most nerve-wracking levels in the entire run yeah you're you're Most. praying that you don't get sucked into one of those uh destructors i think in earlier this stream i lost a pb or world record pace run to a destructor yep like i could have oh, maybe so pulled scary. it back if i didn't die to that and then i i just got sucked in yep it's scary it's scary for sure yeah and there you and go. And this, this is the highlight of the run for me. This for you. Yeah, I, I think you're probably right. Um, 
I will I will notice that or note that during this entire chapter you have said barely a word. Um, yes. You know, in your in your actual VOD, you're basically silent throughout this entire chapter, except for when you're praying that you don't get sucked in by instructor, uh, which I thought yep. was really funny. And then the rest of it is just like stone cold, expressionless face trying to hide the uh, <laughs> the the hype and the the stress that you're experiencing. And I know I've been yeah. in that exact position. Well. Uh, obviously not on world record pace, uh, at least not recently. But um, yeah, you really got to keep your keep your emotions in check because it's it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, as Legend put in in the stream vod, the air is tense. It was quite tense. The air is tense. Yeah. Olympus takes a lot of a lot of focus. Yep. A lot I guess of focus, a fun level. A lot for of me. foresight. Uh, a lot of experience. Yes. Um, also, a lot of um, intuition thinking. in a lot of ways. Uh, you can't yeah. entirely 100% predict, and I have no idea how you didn't die there. Um, honestly, I've never seen somebody survive that situation before. Yeah. The ones who die in that situation are about. Two marble widths to the right okay. of where I landed on that one hump. So you so were I, the I kind to of left. figured that out. I actually figured that out fairly recently because I I lost a BB pace run to that. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, if I go more left, it doesn't fling me up. So I was like, I just pushed myself to go more left at that one part, and I'm able to just get across. Yeah, you had that one little bonk at the end of Olympus that actually didn't end up costing you any yeah. time, and. A 202 Olympus is extraordinary in a full game That's run. That's the third time. The third time That's you've gotten That's the third it. 202 ever. And that, although I, for, I forget if J2 got one, but that might, that's the third one I've ever gotten. For context, 202 is also the individual level record. 201. Are you sure? Actually. Yeah. When Charles did that got down to a 201.82. Okay. I must have uh, missed something. Three weeks ago. But either way, that is It's close to top. Yeah. Five. You're 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 the within a second of, of the world record, uh, is what I'm saying for individual level there. Yeah. Um I guess we should probably talk about that tangle. Um the, the run moves yes. so fast. Uh that was Very two, unfortunate tangle. two deaths on Tangle. Uh giving you taking you away from a sixteen second lead down to less than a second. Um, yes. That's it's unfortunate. Um, At this point, in the back of my mind, I'm like, this run is probably dead, but it's on the last level. Let's just close it out. I like, think the run is dead. Oh, you right? You're not looking at the for timer, world record. Are you? I thought the world record was dead. You're, 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 you're not looking at the timer. You don't know that you're no. not point seven ahead. Um, yeah, I have no guy. idea where I am. Right, right. So I'm thinking I I lost my whole lead. Um. Wow. But at the very least, I could PB, but I'm like trying to come with the grips with this not being world record in my mind. It's not being world record. Meanwhile, yeah. you're not only on world record pace, but very, very, very close to sub 33 pace. Yes. Um, and Savadra uh, popping in just in time on stream. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And nailing that uh, final loop skip, and you're very good at a nice low launch here with the feather fall. But coming in on the goal, and half a second away. Yep. I mean, okay, so first of all, world record, right? But also, yeah. I mean, so you gotta show close. what I what I do. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I gotta, I gotta show, I gotta what, I show what you're doing there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move you over to next to yourself. Um, you're so close to that 32 that nobody's ever seen at the end of a Marvel at Up speed run. Um, yeah. But, uh, yo, congratulations on your run. Um, Thank you, man. How, how are you feeling about the run overall? 
Um, I mean, overall, I mean, obviously, it's it's a good run. Um, five deaths. Five like deaths. That, that, that's crazy. Five deaths in total. Got the reset on Crystalline, the death on uh, Vertigo, Head and Clouds, and then the two on Tangle. So I only have five to remove in my my next PB, hopefully. Five so. to remove your next PB. You're talking about your next PB. You're not done with this category. Nope, I'm not done. I mean, you can't get within half a second of of a 32 and then just stop. Yeah. You know? I know, but you I, know, I gotta at least see a 32. So Bakai did it. He stopped w within three seconds of the 32, but you're gonna keep going. You're gonna keep I'm pushing gonna keep for going. it. Um, yep. Worth noting that uh, this wasn't the cleanest run ever performed. As we talked about, there were some other, uh, there's some tech and some strategies uh, that you used that helped you to get the world record, right? But it is the fastest run ever performed. And in speedrunning, at the end of the day, that's all you need for a world record, right? It's all about going fast. But it is obvious to me that you're more than capable of getting uh, a deathless run. You keep at this. Um, I guess I one other question so. I should ask is, now that the Marble It Up Mayhem beta is out, uh, will that, or how will that affect your plans to uh, continue with this category? Um, well, I will be playing the new beta, at right. least to some degree. I think at the moment, maybe splitting my streams, maybe half and half uh, for right now. I don't want to let myself get rusty at full game strats. Like, I, I've been keeping, like, a pretty, a pretty consistent momentum uh, with this for uh, several weeks now. And I really think have. it's really starting to pay off. Um, just having where, like, I, all I really need is that one no reset at the beginning, and then I'm like, I can do pretty much everything. So yeah, I'll definitely be continuing it, but I will be I will be trying out the new beta, playing some multiplayer, probably doing some chapter runs as well in the new game. Right. Um, but you're not taking a probably break not a temporarily full game. from full game. No. No, you're not. No. Awesome. Yeah, Not I can yet. tell all that practice, all those uh, runs is really paying off. And also, starting to pay out, you won a $50 bounty uh, by uh, getting a world record literally in the final hour. Uh, so literally. congratulations. Uh, enjoy your $50. Um, Thank you, man. You're very welcome. Uh, I think that's just about everything we have for today. Is there anything else you'd like to say uh, about your run or about Marvel It Up? Um, if you haven't played this game, definitely check it out. It is a great speed game. It's a just a great game in general. Uh, and I said it once, but I'll say it again for the sake of our friendly uh, previous world record holder, Rip Skippy. <laughs> Rip Thank Skippy. You. Forever rest in peace. Rip Skippy. Uh, very good. Make sure you are following Hatchet uh, 302 on twitch uh and also uh make sure you subscribe to hatchet on youtube uh either place you can watch his world record with his original um original reactions and also i want to say thank you hatchet so much for joining me on speedrunner showcase thank you everyone who came to watch live on chat or on youtube and uh have yourself a wonderful day see ya have a good one